Polish priest Sławomir Oder is one of the people that best knows John Paul II. As a postulator for his sainthood cause, Father Oder has been in charge of presenting the facts proving Karol Wojtyła led a holy life. We find ourselves before a giant that has impacted us. He was the church suffered for almost 30 years, sowing with generosity. The postulator said that John Paul II thought he would be remembered for a topic close to home in people's everyday lives. During the long years of his pontificate, he touched on many topics, many issues. However, he himself said that he would like to be remembered and thought of as the Pope of life and family. In fact, the two miracles that cleared the path for his beatification and canonization dealt with life and the family. For his beatification, religious Frenchwoman Marie Simon Pierre, who worked at a maternity center, was cured of Parkinson's. Meanwhile, for the canonization, the miracle attributed to him was the healing of Floribeth Mora, who prayed so that her husband, kids, and grandkids would not be left without a wife, mother, and grandmother. But Father Odair said that the majority of letters that he receives are to thank John Paul II for his intercession in the reconciliation of couples or the birth of a child. After his funeral, many families had a gift, a child. They named them after John Paul II with names like Charles, Carolina, John or John Paul. There were so many cases like this. An example comes to my mind from this German couple who wrote a beautiful letter of their account. They described a family crisis and how they overcame it by listening to John Paul II's catechesis on the family. In particular, the series of catechesis titled Man and Woman Created Them on the Theology of the Body. For the upcoming canonization, Father Odair distributed thousands of photos of John Paul II. Several of them even include a small piece from one of his cassocks, so that a large number of people can take with them a piece of the Pope they've known most of their lives.